Nathan Wade, the now disgraced ex-lead prosecutor, along with Fannie Willis, is a moron, an absolute moron, devoid of any degree of adequate mentation. He shows up on The Daily Show now. Why? Then he was on with Caitlin, what's her name? Why? There was another example he was on with some other show. Why? I'll tell you why. Because he's a moron. And the reason why he's a moron is he wants the stardom. This is his chance at the big time, even though it means it would be catastrophic to, to the biggest case, the biggest prosecution in the history of American jurisprudence. Think about this. This is, this is charging a former president, not just any former president, but Donald Trump, with racketeering. And he wants it all. He wants to be ladies' man. He wants the, the tailored clothes. He wants the attention. You know and I know that when he's walking around Fulton County, he gets the looks. And I'll bet you the ladies say, is that who I think it is? Yes, it is. And he is going to milk this for all it's worth. He doesn't care because he's got that divorce case where he's going to get reamed. I mean reamed, emasculated. After he, what, lied about a million bucks? Not only that, allegedly, putatively lied about various uh, romantic uh you know, uh, relationships with Fanny and Fally, fa Fally, fa fallacious. Fanny's a bigger jadrool than he is because this is the one who just doesn't get it either. She didn't even have to lie about him. She could have told him right off the bat, oh yeah, he's with me. That wouldn't have been a conflict of interest, but it's the lying, the mendacity, the stories of the cash and paying back because she's an entitled queen, but he's a moron. She even knows. She uses her extra judicial commentary a little bit more uh, carefully. She goes to black churches and say, well, they're coming after me, a proud black woman. She throws a race card, the woman card, every kind of card you can throw into it. She does that. But this guy is just a moron. He's a bozo. This is it. He realizes, look, this is my chance. And if people want to talk to me, I'm a ladies' man. And I'm going to take this moment to extrapolate it and stretch it. And there is no such thing as being made a fool of. In his demented, twisted, stupid, childish, jejun mind, he feels like he's accomplishing something. That he's going to be famous. That this is his ticket. We live in a world. You can take all the TikTok and Instagram stuff all you want. But this is a different story, and he doesn't even realize they're laughing at him. Remember when he was with Caitlin, uh, you know, the, the eyebrow, you know, the, uh, the, the, the nice lady from CNN, when he had to take a break with his media, media coach, his media team, probably his brother-in-law Larry or somebody, where they walk over in the middle of the interview and huddle, over a question everybody knew he was going to be asked. He's a moron! Let me see if you understand this. It's not cognitive. This isn't like Biden and dementia and Alzheimer's. Biden is no whiz-bang, but in his prime, he was at least more politically savvy. Wade is a moron. He's a beotian, an idiot, a dimwit, a dullard. A fool. He doesn't get it. And she, the entitled, arrogant queen, this mean-spirited, absolutely cookie-cutter usual suspect, here we go. It's about race, and I'm a woman. And they, she even had the unmitigated audacity to suggest that people call her Fanny out of reference to her steatopygian butox and how people who do that are doing it on purpose and it shows a kind of a demented sexualization of her rear end. You know who else does it? Maxine Waters. Everybody does it. Why? Because she's a moron too. Not as bad as him. Oh, no, no. This guy, this guy is the Babe Ruth of stupid. Absolutely without peer. He's a moron. And you know what happens to morons, don't you? 
Exactly.